All right, this one is going to be a doozy because after three years of using the Dispound Notebook as my planner, I'm calling it quits. <gasps> Did I say what I think I said? <laughs> I stopped using this notebook as my daily planner about seven, eight months ago, and I moved back into a bullet journal, but mainly just a notebook that I was using for daily task lists, notes, and random brain dumps. Here's the thing. I do not hate Dispound Notebooks. I do not even hate Dispound Planning. It makes so much sense for a lot of people, but it's not for me, at least not anymore. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kaylin. I'm a type A content creator who loves all things planning, productivity, and personal growth. And thank you so much for watching and chatting with me in the comments. I love that we get to nerd out about these topics together. If you haven't subscribed yet, it takes just two seconds to do, and make sure you hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified when I make and release another video. First of all, what is a Dispound Notebook? Because some people have not heard of these notebooks before. They most closely resemble their cousin, the Three Ring Binder, which of course you're familiar with if you've ever been shopping for school supplies, except they use Dis to hold the pages inside using a front and back cover. And as opposed to the Three Ring Binder, they can actually fold back on themselves. So it makes for easier writing. And then instead of opening up the rings to add or remove pages to a three ring binder, you actually pull the pages off of the disc very carefully and then you can pop them back in. You can use Dispound Notebooks as a regular note-taking notebook, or if you wanna print out an ebook or print out other things and punch and put them inside these notebooks. However, in my opinion, I think the best way to use them is to create your own custom planner using printable planning inserts. That's actually why I moved originally from the bullet journal into a Dispound Planner, because I still wanted the flexibility of planning on my terms and not feeling squeezed into a layout that someone else had designed for me for 12 whole months of the year. I wanted to be able to change my mind. So I moved into the Dispound Notebook because I could design or even try other people's inserts inside this notebook and I could switch it up every single week if I wanted to. With a Dispound Notebook, you can also use tab dividers to organize the sections of your notebook and you can switch pages in and out in between each section or change your mind and completely change up the sections if you wanted to. The best part of using a Dispound Notebook though, especially as a perfectionist, is when you mess up, you can just rip out the page and throw it away. Unlike a bound bullet journal where ripping out the page can cause three or four other pages to fall out. If this method sounds amazing to you and I'm selling you on it, and I do not, like I said, have any animosity towards this method, I had a really good run with it and I totally recommend it for people who want to customize every page of their own planner. I actually wrote an ebook guide called Dismount Planning 101 that teaches you step-by-step -step how to set up your own planner, how to organize it the best way, the supplies that you need. It's basically a total comprehensive mega blog post in an ebook form that you can download for all the tips and tricks. Plus, it comes with a discount to the Brainbook Library, which is a printable planning membership site that I started, and it has over 250 planner designs that you can use to mix and match inside your own planner. Dispound notebooks were so good to me for the three years that I used them, but here's why I quit. Number one, as I started moving more of my life organization systems into Notion, I was using my Dispound notebook less and less for anything outside of a weekly or daily planner. I had a finance tab that was helping me keep track of bills and budgeting, but I moved most of that into Notion combined with the You Need a Budget platform, which I highly, highly recommend if you want an easy way to manage your money. My business tab in my notebook was more some notes that I had taken about different things I wanted to try in my business, some brain dumped lists, and also a promotional calendar. Again, I was moving that into Notion. I also had a list and note tab section, but I was moving more of my lists into Notion and the notes section, I wanted to be its own notebook, which if you missed my 2024 planning system lineup, you'll see what I'm using to track 
all of the things that I've learned. Number two, the dis started to annoy me. I know there's people that don't like these dis at all, and that's the one reason why they're not attracted to these notebooks. It never really bothered me until it did. And then I was just finding it really cumbersome to write close to the edge of the page because my hand was getting in the way of the disc. Now I can take out the page, which is really nice and write on it and then put it back in. But that was just an extra step that was getting annoying to me as well. Plus, if it was a page that I was taking in and out and updating pretty often, like my list of national parks that I want to visit. Every time we visited a national park, I would take it off, I would fill it out, I put it back in, and it just slowly weakened that bond to the disc to where it was starting to fall out. The third thing that started to annoy me was the thing that I loved most at the beginning of this disbound planning journey, and that was printing my own inserts. Because I was changing up my weekly and daily planning quite often, I was printing new inserts every single week. And that wasn't a problem because I found that the positives totally outweighed the negatives because I had what I needed to plan for that week. If it was a busier week, then I had a more detailed layout to use. If it was a slower week, then maybe I just use a one page weekly. It really worked for me until it didn't. So then I tried to commit to planning one month at a time the inserts that I would need to print. And that just threw my brain for a loop because I was trying to be strategic about what do I want to print on the front? What do I want to print on the back? How do I want to make sure that I have enough note pages? And then I don't want to leave blank pages on the back. And I just don't, it ended up being just a huge anxiety inducer. And I'm like, I don't know if I want that in my life anymore. And then number four, which was kind of the nail in the coffin for me, and this is some business behind the scenes, but the Brain Book Library printable planning site that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it was starting to not do so well. It had done amazingly well in the first two years of that side business. We had a lot of members. There was a lot of excitement about it. People were so thrilled to be printing their own inserts and building their own planners inside a disbound notebook. And then things just started to shift. Fewer and fewer people had printers at home. Fewer people wanted to make the investment in supplies to get started with this own planning, which I understand. So the income started to decline on that side. And then because I wasn't using the system myself as much anymore, it just felt a little funny to be promoting a product that I wasn't like I'm still fully 100% behind it. The Brain Book Library is still an incredible resource and it's still there. It's an amazing collection of planner pages. It just fits a very small niche of people at this point. And because I wasn't really in that group anymore, it felt like a good time for me to take a step back and start focusing on some other parts of my business. So that's why I decided to let the Disbound Planner go. Will I pick it up and use it again? I don't know, maybe I am the type of person who likes to try all sorts of different systems. And when something isn't working well with the planner that I'm using, I will go back to what is familiar to me while I'm waiting to find something different. And then maybe I'll fall in love with it again. I don't know. You know how it is. Like, I think we're kind of built the same where we are just interested in the best possible option to keep our lives on track. And sometimes that changes throughout our life seasons. If you are curious about the planner setup that I am using for this year, make sure you go and watch my 2024 planning system lineup. I share the four tools that I'm using together to organize my home and personal and business life. My goal with this video is not to discourage anyone from using the Disbound Notebook, not to hate on the Disbound planning method, but I just wanted to share some more reasons and behind the scenes look at why I decided to step away. Thanks so much for coming along on this planner journey with me. I know sometimes it can feel like a bit of a roller coaster, but we're all just trying new things. We're just trying to stay on top of our busy lives. I would love to know in the comments if you have ever tried using a Disbound notebook before, if you're currently using one now and love it, or if you have used it in the past and you also let it go, like what were the reasons for you not using it anymore? Let's move this conversation into the comments. And again, make sure you watch this video up 
here about my planner system lineup that I'm super happy about. It's a good video and I'll see you in the next one.